Yo, what is up, family? I hope you guys are enjoying Outriders out there. In this video, I want to bring you some of the best defensive mods that'll keep you surviving. Standing in the middle of all the enemies, just getting absolutely hammered and not dying. Okay, that's the goal of today's video. Sometimes you do some missions and you, you just don't have enough health or enough tankiness. And I hope to help you in this video. Let's get it, baby. All right, here we go, Dr. Zahidi. So first off, I want to say test until you're comfortable with a certain amount of defensive mods, okay? I usually run no more than two, three if, if you know, if the build requires it. But usually I try to stay with two because the more defensive mods you put, the more you're taking from that anomaly, the more you're taking from that firepower, the more you're taking from just you being able to dish out damage or using mods that give you damage, okay? So with that being said, all right, so our number one defensive mod in the game is Emergency Stance, all right? So you're gonna attain a Golem Protective Effect which makes you a rock for four seconds whenever your health drops below 30%, all right? The cooldown, this takes 10 seconds to cool down. So basically every 10 seconds for four seconds, you will have 65% mitigation with Emergency Stance. Absolutely phenomenal, okay? The number two, Defensive mod in my book is Damage Absorber. This increases your armor by 47,000 and your resistance by 10. All right, as far as number three goes for me, and these are just for me because they fit my playstyle, right? I like to run in and be aggressive. So when I'm trying to get into certain spots and kite enemies or, or like just make them spawn or have them all in one direction, I use Diffuse to get past and basically when you're sprinting it increases your armor by 42k and your resistance by 50 so real real valuable mod in my opinion you also have a few other defensive mods that i want to talk about protection of the flames being one of them when you're a pyromancer you're getting any uh weapon kills you're gonna get armor and your resistance okay so armor is gonna give you 22k and resistance is gonna give you 10 percent and it stacks up to three times, all right? All right, another tier two mod that is great for defense is mitigation from death. When you kill an enemy aiming down your sights, it grants you 45,000 points of armor for 10 seconds, and it stacks up to three times, giving you about a rounded number of almost 150,000 armor points, all right? I've also been enjoying adrenaline. While you might not get armor or anything like that, your cooldowns are gonna be insanely quick. They're gonna be reduced by 50%. When your health drops below 30%. So adrenaline is a good mod to look out for. Another mod I really enjoyed early game was Phantom Dash. This helped me a ton. Like staying alive. It helps you teleport quickly and pass through enemies. So that way, you know, sometimes you get like trapped in a corner. This will help you like get out of there real quick. All right. Lastly, our tier three mods. Okay. There's only a few mods so far that I've uncovered that I like. So uh, not impressed reduces the damage taken from elites by 25%. Another one is Life of the Party, and it reduces the incoming damage by 3% for every enemy in close range. It stacks up to 8 times, so that's phenomenal, right? Circle of Power boosts your resistance by 15%. I have, I've have used these in the past, but I've kind of went away from them for, like, Damage Absorber and Emergency Stance. I feel like those are better defensive mods for me and my builds. All right, last but not least is Purity, and this reduces the duration of negative statuses by 75%, all right? So they're only going to be on you for 25% of the time that they usually last. That's super helpful, and I hope that this video helped you guys out there. You know, maybe you're not, like, certain what uh, defensive mods you want to use. And yeah, man, we'll be live later over on Twitch. Salute, fam. And thank you guys for watching my content and supporting the channels, baby. Let's get it.